What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is just doing, uh, there's two sets of faces in this video, a set of Panda Sports, and I think the other ones are Water Cooled Industries. Uh, doing Illusion Purple on one, and I think Spectacular Gray on the Panda Sports, uh, which I've never done, so let's see how that turns out. Um, also, at the end of this video, there's a big announcement about some uh, additions to the channel, as well as some additions on Facebook to help you guys uh, connect with me and connect with each other, really. All right, guys, and these are the faces. Uh, I kind of wiped off one of them here to show you, I guess, some of the issues, maybe is the best way to say that. But the, you know, this was a guy that was advertising that he powder coats on uh, Facebook Marketplace, which, you know, I'm not entirely against, but I don't advertise anywhere, so I guess I'm not really in a position to say. But you can see all the, all the flaws and all this powder work. Um, these wheels were also shot hot, very clearly. Um, the back is all incredibly rough. Um, he didn't get much powder at all in any of the windows despite shooting it hot. Um, he masked off the back pad, but didn't mask off the hub bore, so the guy had to cram these on. You can tell it's all, all the powder around here is all gouged up. So we're gonna go through, fix this setup. These ones are going uh, Illusion Purple. Um, you know, obviously these are like a, I think they're just supposed to be white, but they're almost like kind of a pearl white, like he over-cured them. Um, and then the next set are these, uh, these are Panasports. Um, these are the, what, C8s, I guess it would be. Uh, these wheels are old. These were manufactured, I think, in 1996. So these ones are going a color called Spectacular Gray. Um, give me an opportunity to show you guys how I actually mask these off because these are a little different. They have the threaded, steel threaded inserts in them. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so now that we got these uh, chemically stripped, blasted, um, a couple of these I sanded out. There was little, some little nicks and stuff in this metal. This, uh, these are incredibly soft. I mean, you can hit these with anything and it will leave a mark. So I went through and just cleaned these up a little bit with a DA. Um, these wheels are a little bit different in the way that they're set up. Now I don't know where my other, oh, my other roller tape's right in front of me. So the flange on these, so these wheels are uh, they are essentially two-piece. They go into a, a one-piece lip and barrel combo. So we're gonna tape off this flange right here all the way around, and then this area here. These actually are threaded steel inserts. Um, I intentionally didn't blast these because they have a um, anti-corrosion coating on them. So we're gonna tape all that off. We're basically gonna lay tape all the way across this and this flange here, and then of course the back pad. Um, these have steel inserts as well for the lug nuts. So when you put the tape on, you need to cut this area out and make sure you get powder on these because now that they've been sandblasted, they will definitely rust right away. So you're going to want to make sure you get some powder on those things. <clears throat> so I guess, uh, do first thing first, do this back pad. And I talked to this customer, he does not have the center caps for these currently. Um, I think he said he was going to be looking at getting a set. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw powder down in the bore, not all the way to the hub bore, obviously, but I'm going to throw powder um, down there just so it's not bare blasted aluminum, basically. Um, from the factory, it comes machined, as you probably saw earlier in the video, which is fine, but if he's going to put caps on, it would make way more sense to throw powder in these for right now. So this tape, squeegee this down, cut all these out. And this is the last one of these. All the rest of these are already done. So I'm gonna, as soon as I get this done, I'm gonna be throwing powder on all these. I already have the ovens already on. It's actually still on from the last project that I just pulled out. I've got uh, 
three more pages to finish on my web page and that will be up so all the merch and stuff you'll be able to purchase on there um, I ditched the patreon idea kind of entirely I know a couple people asked and said that I should do it um, more or less I just I don't think one of the things on there that I've seen people do is like charging to be able to talk to them and I although I value my time quite a bit I can't imagine being at a point where I think people should pay to talk to me um, I think if you're an industry like a true industry expert that might be the case but I've had a number of you guys reach out to me um, who I've had either call me or I you know mess you've messaged me and I just said give me a call we'll just talk about it on the phone make it easier and uh, you know I know that you guys appreciated that and probably see some sort of value in that I just I can't ever imagine being conceited enough to think that I should charge for it so um, that's out but I'm probably gonna sign up do the member thing on uh, YouTube but we'll get into that in another episode that's coming up um, kind of talking about some new stuff that's gonna be going on with the channel because of new equipment and things of that nature so oh yeah and then uh for any of you guys that didn't see i know i posted on my instagram and my snapchat which i'll put both of those right here so you guys can follow those if you'd like um but i got my logo it's still healing obviously i got my logo tattooed on my arm it's uh not just completely random this is actually just part of a sleeve that i'm still working on so be getting tattooed in that uh, again here in just a couple days continuing this sleeve but I'm super stoked on how it came out and the response everywhere I posted it has been really good I know that people you know for whatever reason really like my logo which is awesome as well and I know I use uh, I use amber tape for pretty much everywhere that I'm worried about adhesion and the tape sticking down but I use this green tape on flanges a lot mostly because I'm just trying to get rid of it and on flanges like this, it works really well. Um, I, it doesn't work better than the yellow tape, but it works well enough and I don't use this green tape for much of anything else. So I figure it's a uh, good place to use this. Okay, so now the uh, quote unquote fun part. This part actually sucks to do. So because this has threaded steel inserts, I of course could just block off all the threads, but I wanna mask this entire flange because that's how it came from the factory. So the best way I figured out to do that is to run a thing of tape, you know, try to get it as centered as possible on this and run this all the way around. And there's still gonna be some areas that you miss. You're gonna have to go back and kind of put little pieces of tape on some of these. But it'll be just like that. And then what you can do, if you put this down like this, you can just roll all of these because all we're doing is blocking off these steel inserts. We're not super concerned, honestly, with masking off this back flange. Um, it's going to get overspray and stuff on it. Um, when these are powder coated at the factory, or not, they're not even powder coated, they're painted at the factory. They actually, it doesn't look like they mask the back, but they paint them only from the front. And there's not even overspray on the back of these at all. It's actually kind of impressive. I don't know. I mean, maybe they do mask them. It wouldn't make much sense to mask the back unless you were trying to have the back of the wheel look absolutely perfect. But if that was the case, you would think that they would just paint the back. So as you can see, there's one little spot. Let me scoot this over. There's one little spot right here that is exposed still. And these are going a gray that I've never shot before. Um, I want to say it's called like spectacular gray. It's just like a gunmetal, you know, like a metallic gray color. But I have never shot it. So I know you guys have been asking that I list like the KV information and stuff that I spray at. So I'll be doing that. We're not doing a top coat on it or anything. The guy wants just that finish, nothing over top of it. So let me take uh, 
your exacto and cut an X into one of these because we're going to be putting the hook through that threaded area. So let's do that. second set of faces we're doing um these have already been stripped i'm just showing them to you to kind of give you an idea of what i've experienced in most of the coders who are advertising on facebook marketplace uh the type of work that you're gonna see is just like this so you can see these used these faces used to be brushed um the gentleman who brought them to me had had them powder coated white <clears throat> you can see in every single one of these windows they're still brushed um this etching on the outside is literally just from the chemical stripper. So no sandblasting, no anything was done. Um, looks like a DA was used on the back pad at some point. Um, I actually initially thought that he had like hazed over these maybe with sandblast, you know, like sandblasting, but there's literally no sandblasting at all in any window. And the chances that he went over this and didn't hit any of the windows is basically impossible. So. We're going to be uh, doing these in Illusion Purple, so I'm going to go over and sandblast them, um, <clears throat> get them prepped the right way, obviously. So, like I said, this just seems to be my experience with almost everybody who's advertising that they do powder coating on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I know a lot of you guys that are coders are maybe doing that. I know that that's the advice that some other uh, YouTube people have been <laughs> giving. Um, Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, uh, but just know that this is the level of competition that you have working against you. So, the guy only charged, I think, a hundred. I think the guy told me it was 160 bucks to get these done in white, but I mean, they looked like absolute trash as you saw earlier. So, we'll go get them prepped up and uh, hung in the oven for outgassing. All right, so there's the before, and this is after I sandblast them. I mean, you can obviously see it's a pretty big difference in the two. You can still see all the brush marks in everywhere. Obviously, after I sandblast it, all the brush marks are out of all the windows, which is how it's supposed to be to get proper adhesion, make sure it's all clean and ready to go. Uh, one of the issues when these were coated is they weren't super clean, and you could see that in the white. I mean, there was crap all in the white. There was discoloration in the white from oils or something bleeding out, so. We'll uh, blast the rest of these and get them in the oven. All right, so with these uh, faces all blasted, they've been outgassed now. Uh, there's a little nick on this face. Let's hit it with the DA real quick, smooth that out. Um, these wheels are reverse mount, meaning the face comes in from the back side. Um, so really, all that's going to mat all that's going to mean is I'm going to be doing this flange right here for tape. And then of course we'll be taping the back pad. Um, I'll likely put a plug in here just cause it looks, these are on a center cap that's kind of catches on the inside right here. So we'll get to taping these things right now and uh, start throwing uh, the base coat, the Illusion Purple base coat's going on these next. So um, I'm actually gonna hang these wheels a little bit different just because of the style of wheel, it being a little more complex. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a way that I hang them to try to make life a little bit easier. So let's get to taping.
All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Got uh, a couple random announcements. So I'm gonna be starting the the membership or club thing, whatever it is here on YouTube. Um, it'll be starting kind of in the next video. Uh, I'll make another announcement then as well, but you'll be able to see the join button um, will start to pop up on all the videos. And it's different tiers, get you different things. You can click on that and see what it's all about. Um, no obligation, obviously, for many of you to join. So it just gets you some random cool stuff from, you know, you can get special icons and stuff to use in the live chats and um, comments and stuff all the way up to you get like free shirts if you're in certain levels so um free shirts and other merch i should say because there's going to be a couple other options but um on top of that also started a group on facebook that is for powder coders or people that want to start powder coating or people that have an interest in powder coating whatever that might be um you can just search on facebook it's a public group called ukc army um i also have a private group that is going to be in one of the membership levels um, that's going to be a little more like one-on-one -on -one help and uh, help from other powder coaters in the industry and things of that nature. So um, this Facebook group, um, I'll try to put a link in the description as well. But this uh, this Facebook group is really just for powder coaters to, um, you know, help each other out. You can post pictures, uh, videos, and video and stuff of your work. If you're having a problem, maybe you can post and other people can help you. Um, it's just really just a powder coating community of, so, of sorts. So... Um, like I said, just search UKC Army on Facebook groups and you should be able to find it. Um, as it stands right now, there are zero posts in it. I just made this group, I think, uh, I guess yesterday, technically. A um, couple videos coming up. I uh, have a two-tone break tutorial. So it's going to be uh, you know powder-coated logos, which I know I did kind of on the live feed, but we're going to do a full video of that. Um, just got to finish editing of that. The breaks are actually already done. Um, a two-tone wheel one got some uh 24 by 14s that i actually got to do twice now um but they are uh the kind of a black color like a black chrome color with uh candy red windows or inserts in the windows i should say um 24 by 14 or 24 by 12 can't remember but big big wheels they're for a truck um and then i got a couple how to's um coming up as well so one specifically kind of about KV stuff and how it affects things and how different tips affect things because um, I've been getting asked that one a lot. Um, as you can see in the videos now, there's a lot of stuff that has KV kind of listed in it. So hopefully that's helping out some of you guys uh, with that question. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. Um, next video coming up is uh, I'm going to break out the secret to Unicorn Pussy, which is the color that I, I make here. So um I've gotten a lot of weird feedback about that. I got feedback from friends who know how I make it who don't want me to post, uh, don't want me to tell people how to get it. <clears throat> I mean, ultimately, I guess you're going to have to get it from me, but um, I think you guys will be a little bit surprised by it. So I've got a bunch of projects that I've done over the last little while that are all unicorn pussy, and I'm just adding them all to this um, just so you guys can kind of get a better understanding of how this product works. So look forward to that. By now you should have at least blown It's funny, I'm mad famous for being unknown